Hi, this is Shruti Pathak and you are watching IndiaGlitz.com. Rangi parod avi, khushi o sangil avi, Har khai hai yu hai, hai, Aashani kirno vikhra hai, Umang avi chal ka hai, Man har vethi gun gun hai, 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 hai. My song Shubharam from the film Kaipoche. Uh, it just happened that uh, the Kaipoche, the film, uh, it's it's about uh, these three characters which are based in Ahmedabad, which is in Gujarat. Uh, it's it's got this uh, Gujarati backdrop. Uh, the composer, the music director of the film, Amit Trivedi, is a Gujarati himself, and I'm a Gujarati myself from Ahmedabad. So it was this whole uh, Gujarati angle to it. And Shubharam, uh, the song, has Gujarati parts in it, which I've sung and written. So that's how it came about that when uh, Amit Trivedi was working on this song, he thought of me because of this whole authentic Gujarati uh, touch that he wanted for the song. And uh, that's how like, he approached me. And then uh, while we were working on the song, uh, while he was working on the tune, he uh, approached me and he told me that I'm also supposed to write it. So yeah, that's how it uh, began. <laughs> uh, Marjava happened, uh, it was a dream come true. Uh, I had worked with Salim Suleiman uh, before Marjava on a couple of projects which uh, uh, which were not uh, the, the mainstream film uh, stuff. So uh, when uh, Salim Suleiman were working on Marjava, uh, for the film fashion, uh, they thought of me because they'd heard me before, we'd worked together before, so they thought of me and uh, it was a complete tailor-made song for me. I couldn't have asked for a better debut song. So yeah, that's how it happened and uh, while we were working on the song, I'd never thought that it would become such a huge hit, you know. Uh, but I'm just thankful to God uh, and thankful to as I always take this opportunity to thank uh, Salim and Sulaiman for giving me my first break. Uh, the fact that people loved it, the fact that uh, people still uh, love the song, the fact that uh, Marjama plays on each and every FM channel at least 10 times in a day, uh, I think that's the biggest compliment. It, is, it was a big deal um, when Vishal Shekhar were working on uh, Rawan and uh, we'd worked on Anjana Anjani before that, we'd worked for two songs, Tajri Bhala Diya and uh, Aspas Khada. So after that, when uh, they were working on uh, Criminal, uh, so for me it was a different kind of song because I'd never done a, a peppy, peppy number like that, you know. So, so I'm glad that they thought of me and uh, it was a big deal that uh, um, I was a part of a song which also had Akon on it. So. Yeah. Uh, no, we never met because, you know, nowadays uh, the recording uh, system has changed. People don't, uh, earlier how it used to be, like the entire orchestra, the uh, the singers would sing together. And now it's not like that. We will come and do uh, their bit uh, as and when it's convenient for them. So, yeah, we never got to meet, but hoping in future sometime soon. Thankfully, God's been kind. I've got a variety of songs. I've... I've really got good songs, you know, I, I, I can't uh, pick even a single song which I wouldn't like, you know, so I've just been uh, very lucky and God's been really, really great to me. Uh, I'm just hoping there's lots more to explore in terms of singing, there's lots more uh, to explore in terms of the, the style of music and everything and um, I have a long, long way to go yet. <laughs> I have, I've, I'm classically trained and I'm obviously inclined towards Indian music. So yeah, there's much more to do. Though I got an opportunity to do this song called Rasiya from the film Kurban, which was semi-classical. But uh, yeah, I think uh, a proper uh, gaiki kind of song is something that I would love to do. Uh, honestly, uh, there are two parts to it. I'll cut your question into two. Uh, the people here in Bollywood, especially in the music industry, people are very, very open to trying out new voices, new singers. Uh, there's, they, they are absolutely warm and welcoming. Uh, but at the same time, there are so many singers, you know, so not every music director can have like 20 singers on one album. So obviously the competition is huge. Um, and I mean, not just the competition, everybody is really, really good, you know, so so it gets uh, a little competitive here and uh, which is why it gets a little um, difficult 
to have uh, make a mark of your own so probably a struggle in that sense but otherwise in terms of approaching people and people uh, having you on board is not uh, that difficult because people are very open to trying out new voices uh, no, I'm absolutely happy with uh, the way things have been. As I said, I couldn't have asked for a better song to uh, break through into Bollywood. So Marjama was uh, it. And I'm glad the way things followed. Uh, and again, thanks to Marjama that it all fell in place, you know, because it was a song which, uh, uh, you know, brought in a new uh, style of singing, you know, earlier, like how it used to be that a female uh, s singer's voice would be a, a, in a typical way, like a thin, nice, beautiful voice. Now people are open to trying out new voices. Um, Kaipoche uh, is what I would uh, like to promote at this point of time, but uh, there are a couple of projects coming up of film songs and I'm also working working on my uh, single. So that's my private music that I'd like to talk about. Uh, I've composed and for the first time in this uh, project. So yeah, that's something I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, as I said, that Shubharam, my song, has given a good Shubharam to 2013 for me. So following uh, to, uh, Shubharam is my first single. Uh, I have composed myself. I've, I've uh, created the music and I've sung it, obviously. Uh, it's written by Shelley. Uh, he's a fantastic uh, uh, lyricist. He's written a lot of stuff for Amit Trivedi in past. Also for Dev D. He'd written. So that's how I know him. And uh, it's a Punjabi song called Rehmata. Uh, I wrote this song for my father. Um, I uh, I lost him in 2008. And um, ever since, I always felt that he was around me all the time. I, I have his um, blessings all the time. So this was a song I wrote to thank him.